Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, let us discuss about the concept subroutines. In Perl, functions are termed as subroutines. In order to declare a subroutine, just use a keyword called sub space followed by the subroutine name. Inside the subroutine, the code has to be enclosed in curly braces. In order to call a subroutine, just give the subroutine name followed by the arguments in brackets. In previous Perl versions, we used to use an ampersand symbol before calling a subroutine. While passing arguments, you have to catch them. In order to catch them, there are three ways to do. By using shift function, second is by using default variable, third is by using a special area called at the rate underscore. To return something from the subroutine, use a return keyword followed by the values which you want to return from a subroutine. Now let us see some examples. In this program, I am going to illustrate about the subroutines and how to call them. For this, I have created an array called lines where each scalar is a domain name followed by some number. Now to create a subroutine, use a keyword called sub followed by the subroutine name. In this subroutine, I want to display all the lines where a string called com is there. For each on the array, use a regular expression to match the string com. And print that line. To call the subroutine, just give the subroutine name followed by brackets. This is how we can get the result. The second way of calling the subroutine is by appending ampersand symbol. This is not so mandatory to use, you can just call this way. Now let us see on how to pass parameters to a subroutine. Let us pass a single parameter. For that I am creating a variable msg and assigning a value og. I want to pass this as a parameter. While calling the subroutine you have to catch it. For this use shift. I have used the same variable name here, but you can use a different variable name too. I want to print the lines where value org is matching the string in this array. Let's test it. This is how you can get the result. If you want to pass more than one parameter using shift, then just use I am creating two variables msg and code and give shift. I am passing two parameters com and a number. I want a scalar where a line matches with com string as well as followed by the number 101. Now change the regular expression pattern here. Test it. This is how we pass parameters to a subroutine. This is the first way and second way is by using a default variable along with indexes. First index 0, the second index is going to be 1. Let us test it. The third way to catch the parameters is by using a special array called 
एट द रेट आंड स्कोर द टू पैरामीटर्स विच आर पास बाय द सब रूटीन आर कॉट बाय दिस वेरिएबल्स लेट अस टेस्ट इट we got the result next is on how to pass an array and return an array using the special array for this i am going to change the functionality of the subroutine i want to implement the subroutine such that when i encounter a scalar with com I want to implement this subroutine such that when I encounter a scalar like with string com I want to append a string like com and when I encounter a scalar like og I want to append a string like og I'm going to pass an array so I'm going to use a special array for each on this array use a regular expression here append that line with a string like this else append with a string like this now to call a subroutine pass this array to return this array just use return keyword followed by the array name and save this result just try to print the array now the string got attached what if you use shift here it says use of uninitialized value and something has printed and what if you use a default variable here you use a default variable the first scalar has been taken but not the rest of them so always when you are trying to pass an array or a hash use the special array at the rate underscore next is on how to pass a hash and return a hash using this special array for this i'm going to create a hash to illustrate on how to pass a hash and return a hash using special array i have created a hash called domain in quotes where each key is a domain name and value is some number in this subroutine i am going to implement functionality such that whenever i encounter a scalar with com string i want to decrement the value by 1 when i encounter a domain name with string og then i want to increment the value by 1 for this for each on keys of the hash if i encounter a com key then just decrement the value else increment the value and here we are passing a hash this is how you are catching the hash into this hash i'm using the same hash name but you can use a different hash name and return the same hash 
I'm passing a parameter as a hash. Now let us print the hash using while each loop. Let us test it. This is how my values are modified. Next is on how to pass more than one data type. Let's see what is going to happen. For this I am going to create one array and two more hashes. What if you try to pass more than one data type to a subroutine? In this subroutine, I am just going to pass all these data types that is two arrays and one hash to this subroutine and just try to print them. I have used a special array at the rate underscore to cache the arrays and a hash. Just try to print them now. Now just call this subroutine. If you try to run this, you can see the first array, this is has printed and the second hash which I am trying to call, it just has printed like this. Let's call this subroutine. After you call this subroutine, you get an output like this. We didn't get all the elements what we have called here. In order to access all these parameters, you have to use references. The references concept I am going to discuss in the next tutorial.